SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. We kick off this edition with a visit to Apricot Lane, a clothing experience franchise that spans the styles of generations all under one roof. Apricot Lane gave me the opportunity to really fulfill my dreams. I was able to have my own business, do the things I love, you know, love fashion, love working with customers, love, you know, analyzing and predicting trends. What I love most about what I do is the shopping. <laughs> and I wanted to start my own business. I knew I wanted to start a boutique. I just love the whole concept of Apricot Lane. And the greatest pride I have is when a high school or college student will come with their mom and their grandma, and all three ladies can find something great that's right for them. That's, a, that's really the power of this brand. Apricot Lane gave me a tremendous amount of support. When I opened up the store, they helped me with the buying, they helped me set up the store, um, and they continued the support. Ten years later, if you're considering opening a franchise, they may provide great help with your merchandising, with your marketing, with your visuals. Or for me, they provided great assistance with leasing, setting up, working with the architect, um, actually physically redoing the store and renovating it. Um, they were there for me every step of the way. Because when I think of success with Apricot Lane, for me the success of having and teaching all of my staff how to run a business as well um, and have them grow and really understand what it is to own a store or a business. And the strength of Apricot Lane is that it is a national franchise, yet every single thing is local. And the most important part of running a business is being local, being part of your community, and understanding your customer. The ideal person to own an Apricot Lane is someone who wants to be independent and creative, yet have the structure of having Apricot Lane corporate behind you helping you through everything that you need. Down to earth in its appeal and profit margin, it's a franchise that's taking off in name recognition, and it could be a good one for your consideration. Here are the stats for entrepreneurs interested in an Apricot Lane franchise. Total estimated initial investment for first store, $136,000 to about $333,000. Now here are some of the items covered in that investment range. Site selection analytics, store designer and architect, flooring and installation, display fixture package, bags and boxes, computer and software, initial inventory, grand opening, pre and post opening advertising and public relations, on-site store opening and visual merchandising, office equipment, furniture and supplies, lease negotiations, additional funds up to three months. If owning an Apricot Lane franchise has captured your interest, the Small Business Network can help. Just let us know by contacting us here, info at sbnfranchise.com. Financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. Please let us show you how. Coming up, time for a check-in for conventional wisdom from SBN's crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. So, as I said earlier, in Title III crowdfunding, this is the brand new animal in American securities laws that was created by the Jobs Act where companies today can raise up to a million dollars per year, very heavily regulated, lots of rules. This is Title III crowdfunding. That has to be conducted through a portal. A portal is just a website. Those portals have to be registered with the SEC and then become members of, the, of FINRA, which is the national non-governmental 
organization that regulates the finance industry, regulates brokers and dealers and so forth. So every portal that wants to do business under Title III does have to become a FINRA member as of right now because there are no other regulatory authorities. And that is a uh, significant process. And of course, like everything else in the crowdfunding industry, like everyone else, I should say, FINRA is having to learn about the crowdfunding industry itself. You know, these are people, just human beings, and they were busily doing their jobs, you know, for years and years and years. And then one day someone says, okay, now you have to regulate these Title III portals. And they say, well, what the heck does that mean? So they have to figure it out, and they are in the process of figuring it out. And it can be frustrating for those of us in the industry because one month FINRA can say this is the rule, and the next month they can say something else entirely is the rule. But we have to bear in mind that they're just people, and they're trying to figure it out the same way we are. So to answer your question, yes, they are, all those funding portals are going to have to be regulated and approved by FINRA, but the process is going to become easier because FINRA is going to get the kinks worked out. Um, people like me and others who do this all the time will know what FINRA wants and what FINRA doesn't want. So the process will become simplified. The people who are doing it now are sort of, <clears throat> you know, the early folks and they're hacking down the undergrowth as they work through the jungle. But once they do, the, the path will become much clearer. Back in a minute with more on SBN, the Small Business Network. Have you invested in solar power yet? I know it's a bold question, especially in this time of curiosity about the best source for energy longevity. But here's a chance for you to invest a little in a crowdfunding campaign to test the waters, or in this case, to test the sun. New Haven Community Solar welcomes your equity investment in what they call clean, cheap power for low-income housing. The group behind this campaign is seeking a better way to enhance quality of life as it lays the foundation for restoring affordable housing to local neighborhoods. The minimum investment is $300. They say Community Solar starts with you. We say Community Solar starts with the following highlights from the pitch video. Let's have a look. I'm part of the Jim Block Building Project as a Master of Architecture student at Yale. Um, every year we design and build a house, and for the past two years we've been working with Columbus House. I was one of two community coordinators working uh, pretty closely with Columbus House over the course of the design phase, and our roles were really to go between Columbus House and the rest of the class and um, try to understand more closely the needs of their clients and the opportunities. Poverty is a huge issue for people in this country and it's a growing issue. We look at the everyday and what can we do to help the folks that are here for all kinds of reasons that are beyond our control. And so we try to get people housed. Um, we try to create housing so that we can get more people housed. We try to connect people to mainstream services um, so that they can move up and out toward independence and, and not be dependent on us. But some folks do need our help for the long term. We are financing a 10 kilowatt solar array that will help reduce the energy cost for those tenants living inside. There's just one more opportunity for us to reduce our impact on the environment, make the housing more affordable for the tenants that are going to live there and ultimately more affordable for us. The opportunity that this affords by making it um, economically feasible through your financing structure that you've um, employed is, is really of value not only to Columbus House, not only to the students, the folks who live here, but I think uh, as a showcase to the notion of how things can be in the future. From a design standpoint, environmental efficiencies come into play um, with natural light, um, with the efficiency of the envelope and square footage of the building, 
the house that got chosen to be constructed has a very tight envelope, um, and that's very important for energy efficiency and for budget reasons. I think that architecture can very easily embody values, political and social and economic, and how you choose to express those values is sort of inherent in architecture. An investment in New Haven Community Solar will go toward funding this living laboratory to democratize the clean energy infrastructure of the future. We're asking you to join us in this effort to raise green and make money while you make good for the future we want and the future we need. If you are interested in taking, as their presentation materials point out, an ownership stake in a community solar array with contracted cash flows for 20 years, New Haven Community Solar could be right for you. Questions about crowdfunding or interested in franchising? The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We'll be back in a minute with more news from the world of small business startups right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. SBN, the Small Business Network, does not endorse or recommend an investment into any of the companies or deals included in its programming. Please note that SBN does not conduct any diligence or review of the companies or deals appearing on its network. Neither SBN or its affiliates make any representation or warranty, express or implied, as to the accuracy, completeness, or definitiveness of this information. This information is presented to inform the public only and has been obtained from the presenting company's official publications. This presentation does not constitute an offer of or the solicitation of an offer to buy or subscribe for any securities to any person in any jurisdiction to whom or in which such offer or solicitation is unlawful. Investments can and do lose money and you should be prepared to lose your entire investment. Please seek legal counsel prior to investing. Do you like good movies? How about scary movies? Maybe you like to take your best date to see a little romance on the big screen? It may be your time to explore Legion M as part of your online investment planning. In its crowdfunding campaign presentation materials, Legion M claims it is the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. The company funds films, TV shows, and virtual reality experiences, and when it's profitable, shares the rewards and revenues among its investors. Let's take a closer look at the appeal of the equity campaign pitch video from Legion M. Legion M is the world's first fan-owned entertainment company. What we're doing with Legion M has never been possible before. Yep. We think that an entertainment company owned by fans is better than one owned by Wall Street. And so we're funding films and TV shows and VR projects collectively as a community. And when we're successful, sharing the reward. You know, being a part of Legion M, whether you invest or not, is being a part of a community that is making a difference in the entertainment industry, supporting and representing original breakthrough content. Our yeah. first project was Colossal, which yeah. was an Anne Hathaway, Jason Sudeikis movie. Yeah. Holy <gasps> shit. Our second project was Mandy, which is a yep. Nicolas Cage movie. So my whole thing was just about how can I service this vision. Then we did Bad Samaritan with David Tennant and Dean Devlin. Dean is known for Stargate and Independence Day. And, you know, he hasn't done films like this. Legion is going to change Hollywood. Let's get that tingle. You know you're watching something that's going to change the course of history. Legion M is an amazing company. It's owned 100% by the fans. We see fans as having immeasurable power. What it is that you guys do that's so special is you connect with fans. And that, that's meaningful for filmmakers and for films to be able to find an audience. Our goal is one million fans unite to take over Hollywood. If we're able to achieve that, that would give us literally hundreds of millions of dollars to produce movies and television shows shows that have a million fans standing behind them. That's not a small company in Hollywood. That is one of the most influential companies on the planet. It's an amazingly fun process to open the gates of Hollywood and allow people to come in. And if you believe in the power of fans and a fan-owned company, yep. we want you to come join the Legion. That's why I like these Legion M cats. I am Legion M. I am Legion M. Join the Legion. 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 I am Yeah. 
If you want to see your investment turn the wheels of the entertainment industry, you may want to become an equity investor in Legion M. Minimum investment is $100. Questions about crowdfunding or interested in franchising? The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We'll be back in a minute with more news from the world of small business startups right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. Moving right along, you wouldn't want to be playing with blocks in the midst of a torrential downpour that caused flooding, or would you? Take it from me, you don't want to scoff at Mother Nature. I've seen the ravages of storms along coastlines and from rivers that turn to rage. The people behind locking line barriers have created rapid deployment protection from flooding conditions, and they're called water blocks. How they work, how perhaps they'll save lives and property, is outlined in this brief but to the point pitch video from Water Blocks. Let's take a look. We have the technology to forecast storms seven to 14 days in advance. Within that 10 to 14 day time frame, we don't have the technology to respond to mitigate the damage that's caused by these storms until now. My name's Joe Denelock. I'm president of the Lockheed Line Barrier Corporation. Allow me to introduce you to a brand new technology, rapid deployable, flood control barrier system that we've trademarked under the name of water blocks. It's a four foot cube that when divided in half in a very unique fashion, it becomes two separate pieces when put together for flood protection, creates a four foot wall, eight foot wide and four foot tall. It's rapidly deployable. It's easily handled. There is no other product in the market that does exactly that. The current tools that are used by municipalities across the country and around the world consist of sandbag walls, Jersey barriers, and then anything else that might be handy. We decided to commission a market survey. The demand for our product is so large just in this country alone. There is not enough manufacturing facilities in existence to make enough barriers to meet the entirety of the demand. Take, for example, a hospital that sits on a quarter acre square that needs flood control protection to create an island of safety for the building. That's one mile of barriers that's needed and we need 10 truckloads, which cost $1.5 million. That $1.5 million investment can be reused for at least the next 20 years to protect that $1.5 billion hospital complex. If we did that for just one hospital, what we would need to do for the entire county, and then think about hurricanes have impacted our coastlines all around our country. The demand exists without question for our product. We're ready to go to market with the solution to the problem. But what we need is your help. Join with us on our investor team so that we can go out and help save communities, lives, property, and our environment. They might be onto something there that's worth considering. The minimum investment in water blocks is $200. There's more for you to learn about water blocks if you're considering for investment. The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. More news from the world of small business startups right around the corner here on SBN, the Small Business Network. Stay with us.
When it comes down to it, I find it fascinating that someone can take an inventive idea, study all the angles, then go and build it with their own hands. And there you have it. A service, an entrepreneur, and a franchise were hatched, all in one fell swoop. That's what I thought in recognizing what went into this next franchise presentation. Tint World is a high-profile service franchise with a glaring difference. Hey, look, Ma, no glare. When you own a franchise from Tint World, you're going to be helping people make a style statement with your services, and you're likely to add a safety factor for every driver. Let's see the presentation for Tint World and hear what got them started in the first place. You know, I started talking to employees at the place that I worked at, and they were like, oh, I'd love to work with that franchise. I like a good company like that. I saw that there was this attraction to the franchise brand. So from that point, I opened up my first store. A year later, I did so well, I started to open up my second store. About two or three years later, I opened up my third store. I did so well, and it was like right out of the park. I, I hit it every time. So I found my stride with using their system. I wound up doing this through eight franchise locations. And I got to a point that I decided, you know, I could probably do this and help other people do what I'm doing. So I decided, you know, I, I wanted to go back into what I came down to Florida for. I came down to open up a car stereo accessory shop. And that's when I decided I wanted to do my own franchise. It was different, it was unique, and I felt it was a fun model. So I actually started to develop the franchise system of Tint World. And in 2007, I launched Franchise for Tint World. Um, and then from that point, we just started scaling a few a, a, few a year. Every year, we sold three more, five more, 10 more, 12 more, and here we are today with over 60 locations in four different countries and really getting ready to scale and grow. And I'm so excited to help other people open up these businesses. And so the idea is what, why, what excites me most about Tint World is that initially it was only opening my own business that was allowing me to grow within a franchise system that I appreciated. But now I get to help others open up a system that I created and my team supports. So I can watch new locations opening up for success over and over again every month. It's just an, an, it's, it's an amazing experience to build a, a team, a tribe that all believes in the same brand and the same business system. A remarkable story behind Tint World, sort of a custom look for your investment consideration. Here are the stats. The typical expenses of owning your own Tint World franchise. Liquid capital required, $60,000. Net worth required, $150,000. Investment, between $108,000 to $198,000. Franchise fee, $35,000. If owning a Tint World franchise has captured your interest, the Small Business Network can help. Just let us know by contacting us here, info at sbnfranchise.com. Financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. Please let us show you how. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Stay tuned. Small Business Administration, or SBA, is dedicated to helping entrepreneurs and small business owners start, grow, and succeed in their business ventures. In fact, some of the most recognizable brands started small. For people throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Guam, SBA is here to help at any stage of your business. From writing a business plan to providing resources to export your products overseas. Headquartered in Washington, D.C., SBA has district offices across the country. These offices help entrepreneurs with the three C's, contracting, counseling, and capital. Government contracting can be a critical tool for growing your small business. The government has many categories of contract opportunities set aside exclusively for small businesses. These help level the playing field for women, veterans, and the socially and economically disadvantaged. SBA also offers participation in matchmaking events in the Mentor-Protege program to help small businesses compete more successfully for federal government contracts. Through our district offices and extensive network of resource partners, SBA offers hands-on training, mentoring, and expert advice tailored to your needs. Our online learning center is also available around the clock. 
so you can explore and take training courses at your convenience. Many entrepreneurs need financial resources to start or expand a small business, and they must combine what they have with other sources of financing. While the SBA doesn't loan money directly to small business owners, we can help facilitate a loan with a third-party lender such as a bank or credit union by guaranteeing that a certain portion of the loan will be repaid. SBA guaranteed loans can be used for various business needs, including replenishing seasonal inventory, building expansion or renovation, purchasing equipment, and working capital. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Another drumbeat for the new ways to put energy to work for us. It's through a crowdfunding campaign presented by HiGen. According to its campaign presentation, HiGen Industries is a California company organized to produce and distribute clean renewable hydrogen fuel in partnership with fueling station owners. This year, HiGen is deploying the latest generation hydrogen production systems at locations throughout California. Only clean renewable energy is used by HiGen's process without the need for new pipelines or infrastructure. The company's requirements are basic, renewable electricity and water. All gas stations in operation today meet these criteria. In other words, welcome to a cleaner future. Major automobile manufacturers are selling hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles today, and countries are building hydrogen fuel networks around the world. Vehicles need fuel like people need food. It is a commodity that will always be required and always in demand. As FCEVs become mainstream, capital will flow into the expanding hydrogen infrastructure. They say hydrogen is set to become the next big oil, but without destroying the planet. A minimum investment in Hygen starts at $500. Let's have a look at the pitch video to catch a glimpse of the Hygen future. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are electric vehicles, but instead of a battery storing the electricity, the electricity is made on the fly in a device called a fuel cell which uh, uses the hydrogen which is stored on board and uh, bonds with atmospheric oxygen uh, to create electricity. Our business model is to uh, partner with existing gas stations where vehicles are fueled today. We're supplying equipment, creating hydrogen and selling it direct to the uh, vehicle owner. The user experience for a fuel cell vehicle is the same as a regular gasoline vehicle. It takes three to five minutes to fill up and you've got three to 500 mile range. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles are on sale now. You can go to the Toyota dealership, the Honda dealership, and come out with one of these vehicles now. We need to build more infrastructure. That's what Hygen is all about, building that infrastructure. We create the hydrogen and we sell it to the customer. Fuel's a non-discretionary expense. You have to put fuel in your vehicle. We need a zero emission fuel. And hydrogen is the, it's the most abundant element in the universe. We're making it from water. As an investor, we're inviting you to get on board with hydrogen. We're in at the ground floor of a new fuel for transportation. How big is that? Hygen says it offers the first pure play investment opportunity in clean renewable hydrogen. Its mission is simple, install and operate hydrogen generating equipment at existing gas stations, giving the station owner a royalty percentage on hydrogen sales. If this crowdfunding campaign has sparked your investment interest, let us know. Do you have questions about crowdfunding or an interest in franchising? The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. There's more small business news ahead. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network.